And we also are doing this with the youngest person in the office for, for old stuff in Florida, so it makes sense, right? From the DeNovo Realty Studios in sunny Brevard County, Florida, the most important podcast on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, DeNovo Realty Radio. Hi, Gary Bell here with DeNovo Realty. Today I'm joined with Andrew Bruns. Thanks for joining. Hi. And, and today we're going to talk about common things you find in old Florida homes. So be it that our office is built in 1887 and it's one of the oldest buildings in Brevard, we have some experience with, with old properties. And number one, and probably one of the most common things, especially besides cast iron pipes. So have you run into that yet, Andrew? So I've dealt with this a lot. Um, I mean, I, I, every single time that I come across a house built before like 1990, 1985, I recommend a, a sewer scope or a, a, a pipe scope. Mm. Um, I've done a video on, or my team has done, my old team has done a video on those in the past, which was very informative where it showed, you know, we did a scope and as we were doing the scope, there were like literally cockroaches crawling in front of the camera yeah, because the they flakes were, and the pipes, they were gone. And the cast iron pipes crack. It's thrown more deals than I can count on two hands, but it saved the client a lot of saved the client a lot of time, headache, and money. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know about it. It's super common beach side. Built houses built in nineteen fifties and nineteen sixties. It stopped officially in nineteen seventy five. I haven't ever run into any cast iron pipe home anything after nineteen seventy. There may be some around here. But um some it's just so flakes. It flakes, deteriorates, it's got a fifty year lifespan. It's 2020, is that the year? Mm -hmm. um, so we're way past that. So, uh, and what the worst part about it is, is I've seen this so many times, is people remodel a house beachside or any of these 50s. We had a lot around here in O'Galley too, 1950s, 90s. They go and do a full remodel and leave all the old cast iron. And, you know, you have to so, all up. Yeah, they put all the cabinets and they put floor down and everything. And it's just like total bummer. So I had just sold a house to, um, uh, to a young kid, actually 19, up in uh, Coco, moved in. Um, he did not. He elected not to do the sewer scope, and now it's um, now he has to re replace all of the pipes and Tough all lesson learned. All the flooring, all of the kitchen. Everything. Yeah, it's a big deal. I mean, you got to cut. You got to cut everything out. Um, yep. Also, plumbing common. This was like late 70s, all the way up to mid 90s. Is polybutylene. Mm -hmm. Piping. So this is water lines. And you'll see a, um, I think you've said you haven't run into this before. But no, I've not. There's a gray, there's a gray. So these are the water lines. The cast iron pipes is the actual sewer lines. Gray pipes, it'll say probably be only piping on if you look close enough. But they've been known to burst over time. You could go forever and they don't, of course, like anything. But insurance companies don't like them. Um, several neighborhoods like will come through and they'll do a bunch of probably be only pipes. Um, so you got to replumb those. Easier than sewer lines because you can you know run things through the attic and everything. Um, the one that not too many deal with, but we actually had some old stuff here: knob and tube wiring that was the 1800s to the 1940s. That one, very few, not many houses were built before the 1940s in Brevard. So, but 50s and 60s where we had the cloth wiring and aluminum wiring is, is pretty common. So, um, you run into that before. The aluminum wiring. Four houses this year, we've had to yeah. negotiate a Lumicon or credit for a Lumicon, or um, and the Lumicon. It's like a retrofit. Yeah, I didn't ask her to hold back on one, mm. um, but it was it, it's it's expensive. I mean, if if you go to, if you want to, if you have to rewire a whole house, yeah, like you're you, talking you rewire the whole house or do the Lumicon. Neither one are cheap, but yep, rewiring is the best way to do it. But Lumicons yeah. are. I've had a lot of so my clients trying to do DIY Lumicon and they stopped. And yeah, don't do DIY, DIY anything, electrical <laughs> panels I will and all not. that, which is also Federal Pacific panels. That's also a super common one. I think that was 50s, 60s, 70s even. Yes, actually up all the way up to the 80s. So the Federal Pacific panels, um, just again, another thing known to catch fire. You'll see FPE written on the panel. You get those. Insurance company finds out you have one, they're gonna make you replace it or charge you a boatload of money. Lead-based paint, asbestos, lead-based paint, super common before 1978. Don't uh, eat the paint. Don't eat the paint. Don't eat the paint, kids. <laughs> <laughs> if it flakes, 
And any times it cracks, I mean, the correct way to remedy it is to get rid of all of it, full remediation, and then repaint. If you got no cracking and things like that, I know a lot of people can make paint over it. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Don't call the the, the what is the EPA on you? Right. <laughs> um, have you run into that yet? So lead based paint. I've never run into it, but I always, you know, I, I've always said I had to sign. I had my clients. Yeah, you got to do a million disclosure. Times. Anything. Any every house built before nineteen seventy eight. It's always a question. Lead based paint. Disclosure. Whenever they sign it. Yes. Do we have it? A lot of people don't know. Um, there are tests that you can do. But there's tests you can get a little swab, turns the wrong or right color, just read the directions right. I've had people read them wrong, the opposite. And anyways, <laughs> that's another story. Um, <laughs> lastly, asbestos. Um, I haven't run into that too much. Um, there's a lot of old floor tiles, like some of the beachside houses that have asbestos in it. Um, but you can have it in walls, popcorn insulation, ceiling. popcorn ceilings. I ran across that. Uh, a couple weeks ago in a house that uh, I had people scraping popcorn ceiling off and it definitely had asbestos. Yeah. So don't eat the asbestos and don't eat the paint chips. Well, before you scrape out popcorn ceilings, <laughs> send send a sample to a lab somewhere to test for asbestos. Yeah. Because if not, and you're over there scraping it off without a mask on, it can it can kill you. Yeah. Cancer is the, the your lungs can't break down the asbestos and you get lung cancer from it, among I'm sure other things. Well, those are some pretty common things that we run across in your Florida. Uh, all in the older houses, I'm sure 20 years from now, we'll have another exhaustive list of things that kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Exciting for watching, y'all. We'll see you next time. Now, go!